Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Avia. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to actually be testing out the new Maybelline foundation. It is the up to 24 hour foundation. It's a new foundation that they had, um, sorry, that they had came out with. And it says it's up to a, up to 24 hour wear. I'm not gonna wear this for 24 hours, but I am gonna wear this for my full day of work. I work from 8.30 to between 5 and 5.30, depending on when I feel like leaving. And I actually wanted to see how this foundation wore throughout the day. Um, I got the color 360 Mocha. That's the color I wear in the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And I'm going to test this out like I wear my foundation on a regular basis. I'm going to put on a primer. I'm going to put on powder. I'm going to put on a concealer. And I'm going to see how this wears throughout the day. Um, I actually really do have to go to work. So like I already did my eyes, my makeup and everything. And I'm just going to put on this foundation. So I'm just going to read some of the claims. Um, it's a full coverage foundation. Um, I am a medium to full coverage girl. I never really do full coverage foundation, so this is going to be like a first for me, but hopefully it'll work out. Um, up to 24 hour wear. I'm not wearing this for 24 hours. I'm going to wear this for about nine. Um, seamless matte finish. I love me a matte finish because your girl is oily. Uh, breathable and comfortable which I like, which is probably why I kind of stray away from full coverage foundations because I do like my foundation to be lightweight. Um, fade and transfer resistant, we'll, we'll see. Um, oil free, doesn't clock, doesn't clock, ooh, doesn't clock, <laughs> doesn't clock pores and it's dermatologist tested and the rest of the stuff is in French and I don't speak French because I can barely speak English um, and I also read on the website that it is best to apply this foundation oops best to apply this foundation with um, a sponge so I'm gonna just use my real technique sponge my damp real technique sponge and it comes with a pump yay I love me a pump so I'm about to put about three pumps on my hand. Oops, I almost forgot. I gotta add my primer. I'm gonna add the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. This is my favorite primer. Now with the Ever Matte Poreless Primer, usually for my primers, I can set it. I like to set it with powder. But for this one, <laughs> I don't need to. I feel like I don't need to, so I don't. So now I'm going to add the foundation. I'm just going to put dots all over my face. It is a thick, consistent. it does tend to dry down a little fast I'm just gonna add one more pump to my cheek area because I tend to um, I do have some darker marks there like right here I have a birthmark that gets really dark in the summertime. And since I live in Florida and it's always hot in the sun, it tends to always be to walk. All right, I'm looking in the mirror and it definitely does have a matte finish. It dries fast. The finish is very, very pretty. The color is like dead on. I'm happy that it actually is the Mocha 360, that it is the same, uh, my same color as in the Fit Me, the uh, Fit Me foundation. So kudos to the color matching because don't nobody got time to be trying to figure out colors in the same brand, but different names. Don't nobody got time for that. So shout out to y'all for making that consistent. All right, I'm gonna um, finish doing the rest of my face off camera. All right, guys, I finished doing my makeup. I'm about to head off to work. Um, I 
did my face like I usually do. I added my powder, I added my bronzer, I did my setting powder, I did my highlight, I did everything that I usually do because I feel like if you're testing out a foundation or you're testing out any product, you need to use that product the same way you would use the product if you were using it to go to an event, if you're using it to go to work, if you're using it to go to party, if you're using it for anything. So the time is now, come on phone, 8.18 am and um, I'm gonna check in at lunchtime and I'm gonna check in at the end of the day when I get home so you can see how this turns out I'm gonna zoom in so you can see I've had the it on for probably about like 40 minutes now so um I'm gonna um, zoom in so you can like see how it looks All right, I will check in probably around lunchtime and I'll be right back. All right, I'm recording this in my car. It is now 1.39. So far it's doing pretty well. Um, I just have my basic oil, my nose is oily, um, my smile lines aren't too disrespectful right now. I had to take my lip gloss, my lip gloss came off and I forgot to bring it so I just put on some lipstick so that's why my lips are different. But um, so far I'm really liking this foundation so we will see how it is by the end of the day. Alright guys, I'm back. It's the end of the day. It was a long ass day. It is now 526 and this is what my makeup is looking like. I am oily as hell. <laughs> um, I had a feeling that I was gonna get oily. I'm, I'm not surprised. Like I usually, around like between one and two o'clock, I do at least like to like dab my nose because my nose is definitely my my problem area. But whatever. And the only creasing that I got really are my smile lines. Uh, but you know they just disrespectful anyway but I've actually had foundation where my smile lines are a lot worse than this I'm actually just gonna um, like add a little powder I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder and I'm just kind of set my face to try to get away with some of the shininess I'm not mad at this foundation like I, I do like this foundation I'm not having besides my smile lines I'm it didn't move like I didn't have any issues with it I tend to always have to um, put powder on my nose or get like a, a towel and dab my nose because my nose is very very oily but I must say like I felt like this foundation held up really really good and it was I think it, I got it from Walmart so it was like nine dollars it's between like I've seen the prices vary so it's between nine and eleven dollars and I think that it was money worth spent like I'm not mad at this it, at the end of the day after I add a little powder to my face I have a nice healthy dewy glow and who doesn't like to glow so I think I would have to rate this Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I give it an A minus. Like I'm not mad at it. Mad at it for the price that you pay for the coverage that I have. It's not moving around. It's not uncomfortable. I like it. I think this is definitely a foundation you should add to your foundation library. It's I, I like it. I'm I'm not mad at it. Definitely recommend it. Yes. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. Don't be shy.